Hi and welcome! This is the second part of our Unreal Engine for C++ tutorial. In this one I will extend the class that we created in the first tutorial to a rotating mesh. Here you can see the C++ class, I renamed it to Pickup Actor. I hope you remember how to create this, just right click, select New C++ class and then Actor. Ok, now let's proceed. Double click this to open Visual Studio. And here's our class, a pickup actor. And let's focus on creating a root component, the mesh and the rotation of this mesh. In order to let this actor rotate, we need an F rotator. This is a helper class to apply rotations and we call this rotation rate. I want to be able to edit this from the outside from my editor, so I define a property edit anywhere and perhaps who knows I want to be able to edit this in blueprints, so I use blueprint read write And I will also define a category. And this category will be visible in the editor. And I will call this Pickup. The next component and property we need is a scene component that will act as a root component. This is the parent to all the other components and I will also need this to change the pivot point when I'm rotating this. You will understand this later on. Alright, the class of the scene component is you scene component. You need a pointer for this and I will set the name to scene component. Again the same definition for the property because I want to change this and edit this anywhere. And now I need a mesh component and the class is UStaticMeshComponent. Also a pointer and I call this ItemMesh. Same property. And we're done with the definitions in the header file. Ok, change to the implementation file now to create these components. And I hope you remember how to toggle between implementation and header file. You can just press Ctrl K O. Create our editor command here, create all components and we're going to do this right now. First component is the scene component. And it will be created with the method create default subobject. By the way, you can select this method here in the IntelliSense box and press the tab key on your keyboard to autocomplete this. Then define the type you seen component for this sub object to be created and a text. This can be any text you like. I'm using scene component. Ok, the next step is to define the root component and we set the root component to this scene component. This is the parent of all other components. Now let's create the item mesh. We already did this in the previous tutorial. Again use create default sub object and the type is U static mesh component. Again the text. And now all components are created. And the last thing we had to do is to attach the item mesh to the root component. And there's a simple method for this, attach to. And the parameter will be of course the root component. It's that simple. Great, now let's initialize the rotation rate and the rotation axis. 
and I will rotate it around the jaw. The jaw is the vertical axis. So I set here 180 for the jaw and 0 for all the other axes. And now let's go to the tick method because in this method we want to rotate the object locally. And there's a simple method which is called add actor local rotation. The method tick is called every frame and as a parameter for the add actor local rotation we use the rotation rate and the delta time. And the delta time is just the time that elapsed between these ticks, okay? So let's see, perhaps I will introduce a speed property just to have a parameter to modify the speed of this rotation. We will see. So let's compile this. And after that, I will drag this pickup actor into the scene. And here we can see the scene component and the child, the item mesh. And like in the previous tutorial, I will assign a mesh to this. Here we go. And now let's come to this pivot point that I mentioned before. I drag the scene component just a little bit upwards and then the mesh downwards. And now you see when I select my scene component that the pivot point has changed. And then I select the item mesh and change the initial rotation. And now let's start and yeah, look at this. That's exactly what I was going for. Very nice. How about jumping on this? Yeah, this works. Oh, damn. Okay, just kidding. Okay, you know what, let me introduce a speed parameter, a speed property. Let's switch to Visual Studio again, to the header file, and define a float property called speed. Okay, and now we have to use this speed in the tick method and multiply the rotation rate. Now we need a default value and I will set this in the constructor to 1. And when I compile now you can see that the speed here is available as a property and we can crank this up as we like, for example here to 3 and see how this will look like. <laughs> yeah, awesome. And again, let's take a ride. Really nice. Okay, that was just for fun. In the next tutorial I want to show you how to turn this item, this rotating thing, into a real pickup item that we can collect. If you like the video, let me know and subscribe to my channel to be notified of new tutorials, they will come definitely. Thanks a lot for watching and come back soon here to my channel to JNM.